graduations. It is an opportunity to, to both reset. It's an opportunity to look back at what you've achieved, but also to look forward to what's next. The Deputy Mayor for Greater Economic Opportunity. I'm talking about Dean Wood and Congress Heights, Anacostia, Upper Kennedy Street, and, jo and Georgia Avenue. We have a real shot here at making a difference with this role. So this arena and basketball will cut a path for opportunities at St. Elizabeth that we all will travel as our community moves to the bigger than. This store will now provide easy, convenient access to fresh food, affordable clothing, and everyday necessities for residents of Ward 4 and residents across the District of Columbia. With this increase in the minimum wage, there are now more people and more families who are on the pathway to the middle class. The district couldn't be more proud uh, to welcome Pigmental Studios to come to our city. The arts are alive in Washington, D.C. I'm here to sign uh, some very important legislation. The district will not tolerate the sale of these drugs. The high number of closures we've had in the past 30 days uh, in large part is due to extra resources that the mayor has put in place to assist us with getting the job done. And with the council's unanimous vote today, we will be able to fully employ in the District of Columbia uh, a body warrant camera program. There are things that we can do systematically to prevent those losses. And that's why we sign on to President Obama's Vision Zero initiative. There is some good news to report from this front. The Bowser administration has made more progress in putting homeless into stable housing in the past year than previous administrations have had in many years. Our Housing Production Trust Fund uh, will have $100 million of investment in affordable housing. This year we have uh, over 15,000 young people signed up to, to participate in the SYEP program. We also expanded the age groups of the program uh, to include 22 to 24 year olds. Not only did we have kids ride free on the bus, but we expanded this very successful program to kids ride free on the rail. This year, we hired 750 new teachers. And while the country is struggling with a teacher shortage, we've had absolutely no problem recruiting these new teachers. Why? Because they want to be part of the winningest team in urban education in the country. It's great to see you here, and it's a great day to get fit, DC, right? This project supports Sustainable D.C. And I've said that any utility operating in the district must provide lasting and tangible benefits to D.C. ratepayers and residents. The council and the mayor are working together uh, to make sure that we're just not talking, um, but we're walking the walk uh, as well. We're Washington, D.C., Chuck, uh, <laughs> and the residents of the District of Columbia uh, really want to forge a new path towards statehood. 